Hi guys, welcome to Vlogmas Day 19? Yes. vlog there's a couple reasons I forgot my camera yesterday I was like I was so prepared to vlog yesterday I was doing so much like in the morning I forgot my vlog camera so I just used my phone I just actually went to go record on my camera and I don't have a memory card in it because so yeah I've been editing and stuff a lot lately so um, I keep taking out my memory card and putting it in my laptop and I guess this morning I forgot to put the memory card back into my camera so I could not vlog this morning but um, I'm gonna vlog on my phone because I'm gonna make do with what I can. Um, anyways, good morning and welcome to Vlogmas Day 18. I think it's day 18. You're gonna actually see this the same day I'm recording. Um, today is a busy day. I have nails and then I have um, a huge photo shoot with Caitlin. And yeah, it's gonna be super fun. I have some sponsorships that I need to get taken care of. So I had to hire a photographer for that. And yeah, I'm super nervous. I haven't actually done like high-end professional pictures in a long time because I'm like so self-conscious with my body that I don't want like them to take it you know but yeah so I have a full face of makeup on um and I'm going to get my nails done I'll show you guys before and after it sucks that I don't have my memory card but I'll get it when I get home okay so I know the quality sucks but here is my nails now they're grown out you can't really tell because they're clear but it's just long square slash coffin nails with a butterfly on it okay so these are my after nails i was gonna do some crazy holiday nails but as she was doing it i was like i don't know if i like it i don't know if i can deal with it and she was like yeah i'm really surprised you picked this i'm like me too she's like i have a feeling you're gonna get tired of it and want to come back i'm like probably so i was like just do like a red and some sparkles so she did that and it's really simple but still cute i really just can't go crazy with nails i just i can't do it so yeah. Um, when I actually got to go do all the stuff, I forgot my camera again, and I think it's because Caitlin cleaned my house and like she put things like where they're not usually, and like I totally just like did not get my camera. And the problem was is I was using my phone for majority of the vlog, if that makes any sense. So I couldn't vlog with my phone. If that makes any sense. I had this huge photo shoot. Me and Caitlin had a blast. It was really fun, and I was gonna record it all, but I had to use my phone to do it. So I couldn't really use my phone to vlog. So yesterday there was not a vlog, but I made it up to you guys by coming home and editing a main channel video. It was me and Nick Akato eating Taco Bell, so that's on my main channel. So there has been a video out every single day for 18 days, which is like crazy for Carly Steele because for a while there she was like barely fucking posting. Stupid bitch. Ugh, hate her. But I asked you guys on Instagram what you guys would like to see today. And a lot of people have been saying that they want to see how I make my coffee. So I'm going to make a bunch of coffees for you guys today. Like a bunch. And you guys will be able to see exactly how I make all my coffees. Actually having to make iced coffee right now. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I made my iced coffee, how I, where I ordered it from, and the link will be down in the description. Let's get started. So, there's three different coffees that I made. This has saved me a lot of money because um, I used to buy like two or three coffees a day. I wanna say $10 a day on coffee because like it'd be $3 for two coffees at six and then like four or $5 for a Starbucks. So I was spending a lot of money on coffee and it just seemed very excessive. So I was like, it's time to make coffee at home so i have a keurig machine which is like my favorite thing ever so i guess i'm kind of like cheating with that but my iced coffee i do make at home it's cold brew coffee um, you can just make regular coffee and then put it in the fridge and make iced coffee but cold brew coffee is um oh my gosh i'm gonna like ruin my fridge cold brew coffee and then iced coffee tastes completely different iced coffee is like a little bit lighter it just tastes like coffee but cold cold brew coffee is stronger smoother and it takes a lot it's it's like a lot stronger like it will literally really wake you up if i really need to wake up i have a cold brew coffee if i'm just having a coffee to get like my caffeine and coffee fix i just have a normal so i'm gonna show you guys how i make my iced coffee okay so here are just a couple things that you need this says espresso on it i put this label on it it's really not espresso anymore it used to be my espresso beans but now it's not so these are optional like i said you can get coffee that's already grinded i didn't i just have whole beans i really love mcdonald's coffee i know it sounds weird right you're like wouldn't you want starbucks or like dunkin donuts or tim hortons no but my second favorite which are the ones that josh got me are Colombian roasted beans. These are so good. Colombian coffee is ridiculous. So this isn't open yet though, so I'm not going to use it. But this is a grinder, so basically all you do is you put the you put the beans in there, 
and you grind them up and it makes this. Now the trick to this is you don't want to grind them too small where it goes through the filter. You want them kind of big, but like I said, you can buy them pre-grinded. And this is the magical, magical iced coffee brewer. So it comes with three parts. There's a lid to it. I can't find the lid. It's probably here somewhere, but there's the filter that where you put the actual coffee in. And then there's this obviously to like make sure it doesn't fall in. And then the place to put the water. So there's two ways that you can make this. I do it the difficult way. Like I said, I grind my own beans and I put really, really hot boiling water in it. But this is made for cold brewing, which means you can put cold water in this. You don't need any boiling water. You can just put tap water or filtered water or whatever you want to choose. So there's a bunch of different ways to do this, but I'm going to show you guys the way I do it. So the way I do it is I put this in there. Now you can measure. They tell you to put like eight to seven tablespoons if you want it this color, this color, whatever color. I don't know if it's just my beans. Like I said, I haven't made cold brew coffee with any other beans. This is my first time, so I don't know if it's the beans or what. Um, I've only had this for about a month, but I've used the crap out of it. Basically, what you do, I don't really measure anymore, but you take a tablespoon and you basically just fill the filter up with it. The darker and stronger you want your coffee, the more you fill it. It tells you on the instruction manual. Even when I fill it up to the top, I really can't get this coffee that dark for some reason. It like, it kind of is like a light Coca-Cola color and I want mine like black. <laughs> so I use boiling water and it makes it a lot darker, but that's the difficult way to do it. You have to boil water and then pour it in, blah, 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 blah. So I fill it about halfway and then I pour my water in it. And I do this because, but for some reason, I feel like, I feel like if I fill it all the way to the top and then I put the water in, I feel like the middle isn't getting touched, which I know is so weird. I don't know, it's just something about me that I just have to do it that way. So I take my boiling water. Like I said, this could be just cold water, however you prefer it. And I pour it in there. Now I just do a little bit of it and then I continue to put more. I'm just gonna put the rest of this cause there's like none left in here. And then I pour the rest of the water in. I feel like I get the darkest coffee out of it this way. Um, but you can put obviously cold water in it. It's made for cold water. So I do it like that. And then you're gonna wanna get room temperature water. You don't wanna put cold after you just put boiling hot because this is glass and it will shatter. So you either have to put all cold or old or all hot. Um, so it's really important. And there you have it. You have your iced coffee. Now, um, I let this sit for about 12 hours. You can let it sit for 24. If you do cold water, if you just decide you just wanna make it easy, then I would let it steep for about 24. There you go, that's how I make my iced coffee. So I got these coffee beans and I got Got my coffee grinder all on Amazon so I'm going to link every single thing on Amazon yeah so that's how I make my iced coffee and then for my hot coffee I literally just use a Keurig but I will actually show you guys my two favorite drinks which is an iced caramel macchiato and a vanilla almond latte Okay, so this one is when I'm feeling skinny and healthy and I just don't want to feel like super, super heavy after. For this one, it's really, really simple. You're gonna need some sugar-free vanilla syrup or regular vanilla syrup if that's what you want and some unsweetened vanilla almond milk or sweetened vanilla almond milk. This is the sugar-free option, the less calorie option, but if you don't really care and you just are vegan and you just want a normal almond milk drink or you just like almond milk better, I would highly suggest just getting regular vanilla almond milk and some vanilla syrup. These are like the pump syrups that they use at Starbucks, I'm not sure if it's the same brand. Um, I just got this at Winners, or if you're in America, this would be TJ Maxx, I think. So, the first thing you wanna do is fill it with ice. I eyeball this, I would just like, depending on how sweet you want it, I would do like, maybe that much. And then I shake my almond milk. This one's so easy, you guys are gonna be like, duh. You put your almond milk in there. I fill it to about the line. This needs more ice cubes. I put my straw in there. You pour in your coffee. And boom, that's your, uh, that's your vanilla almond latte. You put the lid on. And there you go, a vanilla almond latte. This tastes so freaking good. Okay, so the next one is, everyone knows this drink. It's called an iced caramel macchiato from Starbucks. This one tastes almost identical. The only difference is that their coffee is a little bit stronger at Starbucks and I use sugar-free vanilla instead of 
regular. Okay, so for this one, you're going to need a coffee cup, some ice, some vanilla syrup, or any syrup that you want. Vanilla is the one they use at Starbucks, and some caramel syrup. So this one is really pretty. You're also gonna need milk. So, obviously, like I said, you can substitute, take out, whatever. Um, you don't have to use caramel syrup, you don't have to use sugar-free vanilla, and you don't have to use 1% milk. At Starbucks, I'm pretty sure they use whole milk. The first thing you wanna do, before ice, before anything, is take your caramel syrup. It's really important that you don't put this in the fridge. If you put it in the fridge, it's really hard to like squeeze out. I'm gonna make this right now and just give it to Josh, cause he likes to take them to work, so I'm just gonna make it now. So, I just put some at the bottom first, and then, after I put some at the bottom, you literally just like go like this along the cup and make it look really pretty. Ready. Josh loves this. He loves when I make these and I like a lot of caramel at the bottom So I usually I like to drink it and have caramel come up in the straw So then I literally just got caramel in my hair My new house is gonna have like an ice maker and it's gonna be like on the fridge and it's gonna be so much easier I usually would put more ice, but we don't have any more ice there's that. Next, you're gonna wanna put your sugar-free vanilla syrup or regular vanilla syrup. You can get a pump for this and literally do the exact amount of pumps. I think it's like five pumps for a venti, but I just eyeball it, so. That's a good amount. Then you put your milk. I fill it to about there. Everything's just eyeball. I put my straw in before. And then the key to this is to pour this really, really slow. Sometimes it works for me, sometimes it doesn't. And voila! There's your ice caramel macchiato looking all cute. Literally looks like an ice caramel macchiato. I post this on Snapchat all the time and you guys are always like, how do you do that? So yeah. One other thing is when I'm just having regular iced coffee, when I don't wanna be all extra and I'm just having regular hot coffee, what I do for that is I just get these coffee mates. There's a bunch of different ones. I have the sugar-free hazelnut one and I literally just it's literally there's already sugar in here and milk So you literally just make your coffee and you pour this in and you mix it and you go. I usually use this Yeah, this is like a staple in my house If you guys know me or you guys are my friends, this is what I use most Josh wasn't a huge coffee drinker until I introduced him to this and cure eggs and he was like, oh my gosh <laughs> So that was it for my little coffee spiel. If you guys enjoyed that and learned something out of it probably not. All of the products will be linked down below. I'll try to. And um, yeah, earlier today, um, me and Josh went through the, Mc not the McDonald's, the Burger King drive through and we just vlogged a little bit there. So I'm just going to add that in here. See you guys in the next clip. Try a cherry, baby. Is to try one? Yeah. Is there seeds in there? Yeah. So you have to like chew it nicely. They're fucking fire. It's good. Aren't they the best thing ever? They're good. So guys, Caitlin came over. Look at her. Oh, booty booty. She looks so good. Her hair looks so good. I literally opened the door and I was like, are you the one that's going to do the photo shoot? Because maybe you can get some photos in. Yeah, together. Yeah. Cool. Cute. Calm, cool, and collected. Bye. She gave me a regular. Did she actually? Yeah, right in the morning. That's I don't know why. Way. Sometimes. Hey, What's up? Where's the, the, the little baby's mommy? She's around somewhere, <laughs> the birds. I don't know why, sometimes I love coffee in the morning, I like hot stuff, or I like iced coffee, but today I was really craving like just Diet Coke. Sounds disgusting, it's like 9.30, but. No, I get that feeling sometimes. I wake up in the middle of the night and go chug a whole can, and then just Take go a back sip. to sleep. Is this, is this diet or regular? It's regular for sure, right? That sounds like, that sounds. Tastes like regular, but it has a really bad aftertaste. This is Josh's idea. Okay. Well, we were gonna order quesadillas last night, so kind of makes up for it. Are those the cheesy tots? Those look fire. These ones are yours, though. So I'll let you try mine. If you didn't know, Burger King has the best hash browns. Here. You think those are too hot for her? Um. Probably not. Yeah. They're cheese. No, she's good. You wanna try them? Yo! What? It's like a mozzarella stick. Really? Yeah. Oh, hi guys. Did I even say hi? No, hi guys. It tastes like a mozzarella stick. The breading on the outside is like a chicken finger. It's not like a hash brown. I don't oh, like I know. It. Yeah, I know. I don't like that. It's good. Can you try it? No, it's squish. 
Yeah. She squished it. Just bite it. Take a bite. Take a bite. There's Take a bite. cheese in it. I don't think I like these. Here, put these back. I'll, I'll eat them later. But those are good. Here, you want to just have these ones in? Kind of. Okay, here. Can you try it, Ella? Bless you. Oh. Oh. Yo, she, she, she took a bite and then she spit it out. When she coughed. Okay, you don't want it? Okay, try it. Shit. You're so dumb. I dropped it on the ground. So these cheesy tots sounded really good. I just really don't like the breading. I thought it was gonna be like a hash brown with cheese in it, to be honest. That's kind of what I thought too. I'll have another one though. It kind of smells like an onion ring. Oh, it is the onion ring batter. Yeah, I don't like it. It's the same batter. So Josh got the enormous, it's called the enormous omelet sandwich. I just wanted it because the original chicken sandwiches from here. Have that bun? That bun is so good. Mm. I would like just eat the bun. Yeah. Really? You don't like it? It's too late. You can have them. Yeah, they're all yours. You don't want them? Are you oh, sure? Bro. Get them the bread. No. <laughs> Oh, it looks so good. So there's like, well, there's sausage and, and bacon in it. <laughs> okay. I just have. Daddy, I'm gonna bite of yours. Okay, let me make sure it's not like hot. You can have bite of You know what? I'll just give her like. I have egg cheese on an English muffin because that's like my favorite thing from Tim Hortons. So, yeah. Okay. This is my first time having a breakfast sandwich from Burger King. My meal was a thousand calories, and it's only 9.30 in the morning. This is like 2.50. <laughs> That's like the bite I just took. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really like bacon, but I feel like I, I maybe do because we had this club sandwich. Oh yeah. And I got bacon off of it, but then, long story short, we got another order. <laughs> Sounds really bad. It was free. It was free. And they put bacon on it, and I tried it, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is a lot better with bacon. So maybe I do like bacon. I don't know. Take a bite with this sausage in it. Taste it. Tell me what you think. I don't like it. I have water, thank God. <laughs> you okay? Dad, go. We will soon. We're filming. Go. Uh, that is good. I still, I'm just not a huge, like, bacon go. person, though. Oh, Ella, we're gonna go soon, okay? Yeah. We're doing a YouTube video. We're, yeah, we're making a video. So, like, two more minutes? Wait till we're done eating, okay? Yeah. Thank you. I'm pissed at this Rego because I feel like... Oh, I'm drinking it. <laughs> I know. I want to go back on the drive. Do it. You want water? But it's, like, really good, though. It's like you're already having a thousand calories. You might as well just top it off. That's true. <laughs> I took I took sixteen thousand steps this year. That's crazy. I know. So like I don't feel that bad for eating this. This tastes just like Tim Hortons to be honest. This doesn't. Mine does. This tastes like it's not that good. Like it's mm -mm. okay. Like you know when you go to Max or something and you have like those they sell those breakfast sandwiches that you can microwave. Well, they have some. some you know the ones in the states like that come and you use a microwave. Oh yeah, in a box. Taste that's what this tastes like, kind of. Yeah, it does. <laughs> if they had these, I could just microwave. I get a yeah. Want a drink? You want water? Well, actually, that's only. I thought you had a juice box. No. Finished. No. You drank all your juice. You should drink a lot of water, okay? If you drink it so Baba. I made that for Josh. And he'll eat half of it. Yeah, I'm full. It's really big. I still have all those to finish. So I'll just take a few more bites and I'll give this to Ella. She already ate, so I don't want like, to give her too much. But... It's hash brown. She ate before we left. 
Yeah, YouTube. <laughs> That's why I wanted to say I'm doing it. I'm not feeding I know. And she's at the age where she can just like pick off of what you want, of what you want, of what you're eating. Yeah. Like when we go to a restaurant together, me and her just order. And she'll just eat off our plates. This video is really boring, guys. Sorry. But it's our boring life. I feel really pale today. I feel really. But I, I think it's just because I'm wearing like black. I think maybe. I don't know. Guys lost 15 pounds. I was 15 pounds heavier when we got back. It was water weight and salt. So that's what it was. You know what? With those salt <laughs> at you. And he weighed himself in the he weighed himself in the middle of the day after eating. Then it took her. You okay? What is it? Part of your jacket. <laughs> it took her like like three months for her to like Daddy. poo in front of me. Daddy. <gasps> what? Yeah. If I didn't, I was gonna die. <laughs> yeah, she, she took a while. What's he called? You're funny. Just try it. Just take a bite. Do you want the rest? Do you want it or no? We have nothing else to talk about. I said I wasn't going to finish it, but I definitely did. And they are all done. I yeah. can't stop eating these, so can you eat them? We didn't really talk about anything, and I, have, I haven't ended, ended it, and we don't. you don't have a thing. Oh. I I film, I vlogged in here the one day when I was driving. And it looked, it looked pretty good. Everyone's like, oh, Jay Bish is a vlogger. This tastes so, okay, I'm so... <laughs> I'm so used to Diet Pepsi that this tastes like candy. Candy. Like I feel like I just, I need to be in the mood for sweet stuff. And I'm never in the mood for sweet stuff to be honest. Anyways, this is probably gonna be part of a vlog because it was so boring. But, I don't know if I'm, should I, like should I end it professionally or should I just end it? Um. This is not even post worthy, we didn't talk or anything. Okay. <laughs>